Okay, now that we have generated our electrolyzed water, uh, again, remember we used two scoops of salt, one mil of vinegar, and we generated on the high setting for six minutes. Now, in your kit comes a pH test strip and a chlorine test strip. It's not really necessary for you to use these unless you're a science geeky nerd like me and like to know what these numbers are, or perhaps you have uh, been using this in a commercial setting where it's important to just know the efficacy of your electrolyzed water. So, dependent on whether you've used one, two, or three of the scoops of salt, that will change the chlorine content of your electrolyzed water. Now, just as a reminder, we use two, so when we test, this is gonna be reflective of two scoops of salt. It's very simple to test your water. We'll start with the pH test. They come as a yellow piece of paper. The chlorine strips are white, so just pull a thick piece of paper out, dip it in your water, now we want the pH to be between five and seven. You have this test strip paper that'll tell you just exactly where your water is at. Now this one isn't really changing color too much and we're probably sitting right at a perfect six, right between the five and seven. And to move on to the chlorine content. So because we've used two scoops of salt and we electrolyzed on the high setting, we're gonna have a little bit higher chlorine content. We're gonna have between one and 200 parts per million. If I had used less salt or I had electrolyzed on the low setting, then we probably only have between 50 and 100. There you go.